So welcome back to a new week of Out of the Bubble podcast. Hope you've all had a great week. I've been loving the conversations that I've had on series five. The topics of conversation that just is not just about the podcast, it's what they create a ripple effect of conversations on social media. Take last week's episode with Claire Owens from um, The Soberholic. The fact that we were talking about um, ditching the alcohol and so many women that I know that are going through the perimenopause and menopause are feeling like alcohol no longer serves them and it's making them feel much worse and increases those symptoms of anxiety and I can completely relate to that. So I've had some really interesting conversations on my social media platforms following on from this podcast. So it's not just about the stories that these women share here, it's about creating that ripple effect further down the line so that we can open up these conversations and it's something that I'm really, really passionate about. I love doing what I'm doing and I'm really excited to say that this is going to be the last out of the bubble podcast as you know it. Now don't panic, I am not going anywhere. I will still be delivering a weekly podcast with amazing, inspiring stories from women over 40, but the podcast name will be changing. I started the podcast, Out of the Bubble, in 2018. And throughout this process, I've interviewed 125 women so far. And I've been on my own journey with these women. I've been learning, I've been growing, I've had wobbles through lockdown life and lack of confidence, I've had imposter syndrome, but I've been on this big journey and now I'm 52, I'll be 53 at the end of May, I really do feel like I've got to a place where I'm completely accepting of myself, flaws and all, and everything that I'm doing is all one part of one big journey that I am absolutely loving. And there is something that kept niggling me and make me really realise that the word that I was associated with my time of life at the moment in my 50s is freedom. So the new podcast is going to be called Liberty Free to Be. And I am so excited about it because it really does feel so aligned with where I am right right now in this moment in time in life. The total freedom to show up as I am and to just be without fear of judgment of other people. And I'm sure that that's something that loads of women in midlife can relate to. That feeling that we don't have to justify ourselves to anybody. We don't have to try and fit into a box. We certainly don't have to conform to what other people in society tells us. And liberty, free to be, is exactly how I feel right now. So I've outgrown Step Out of the Bubble. And that's okay. We shouldn't fear change. It, it can be something that really holds us back. And that's one of the things that I've really gained strength from, from listening to the stories over the last couple of years of women that have gone on overcome amazing hurdles and gone on then to do amazing things afterwards. And it's that fear of change that can hold so many of us back. So don't be scared of it. It can be a really exciting time. And so the podcast is going to still be weekly and I'm going to have some fantastic guests on. I've got the next series, which will be starting on Tuesday, the 2nd of May. So I'm going to take a few weeks break just to gather myself and to get ready for the launch. But exciting things are happening. And I've already got series six guests all lined up and I can't wait to share them with you. I am taking things up a level because I really do feel confident enough now to share exactly who I am with you all. And I hope that you can tell that through the conversations we've had recently. I started out of the bubble in 2018 and I called it that because when I first started modeling in 2017, I was really struggling with that imposter syndrome and wondering whether what I was doing was right, what, how, how could I possibly think I could change careers and start modelling in my 40s and, and then to start a podcast when I didn't know anything about it. So imposter syndrome was real and I gained great strength from listening to stories of women in midlife in their 40s and 50s that were doing exactly that, that were reinventing themselves, that were overcoming huge hurdles and starting again and that gave me so much strength. I could see that they were stepping out of their own bubbles. And that's exactly how I felt at the time. I'd also lived in the same really beautiful part of the world and in a small town um, in Yorkshire. I'd lived there all my life until 18 months ago. And it's a beautiful place to grow up. And it was a fantastic place to have my children. But it's a kind of place that people that I went to primary school still live there. We all know each other. There's no escape and there's no space to grow because you're all stuck in this bubble. 
And it's very hard to step out of that when you're in that comfort zone. And I, when I got divorced and I started this new career, and then I met Mark, who was from London, these situations really forced me to face change head on and also to step out of my own bubble. But I feel like I've outgrown that now. I have stepped out of the bubble and I have experienced and seen that there is so much more to life than I was experiencing before. Through no fault of anybody's except my own, I was holding myself back. I was allowing that fear of change to hold myself back. And now I've got to a space where bring it on. I want that change. I want those life experiences. I don't have to conform to any set standards that society have told me I should be. And that is exciting, which is why I am so ready for this rebrand, Liberty Free to Be. So what can you expect? You can expect more challenging conversations and actually not just from women over 40. I want to try and include more intergenerational conversations because if we can create a ripple effect to the younger women that are coming up behind us, then they won't have to fear aging like we've been taught to from a young age. So let's try and break down some of those barriers. So intergenerational conversations that, are, that will inspire older women as well as the younger generation coming up. I'd love to have some group conversations with women as well in the future, where we can actually all get together and put the world to rights on a podcast. I've got so many ideas and a long list of guests that I am working my way through. So if you have already contacted me, don't fear, I will get back to you. It's just that it is a long wait. But it will be back and I've got an exciting launch. I will be doing a whole day on social media on Tuesday, the 2nd of May to launch the new Liberty Free To Be Season 6 podcast day. So it's going to be a day full of interviews with inspiring women that I've met through the podcast that I've already interviewed that are going to be coming on the show that you haven't heard yet and are through curveballs um, thrown in along the way. So I'll keep you posted about that. So don't panic, I'm not going anywhere, but when you see it in your feed, next time you see it, it will be called Liberty Free To Be. So I want to tell you a little bit more about the branding and the, and the logos and what it all means to me, because it is very much part of my story. And I am so, so grateful to be working with Jojo Smith from Creative Sass and Rosie Wilkins from uh, Brand By Design, who have done an amazing job on the branding and it has pulled together everything that I'm about and I'm so, so excited by it. The word liberty, as I said, means freedom. And in my 50s, I feel like that's never been more applicable. The freedom to be exactly who I want to be without fear of judgment. Whether that means I want to show up in your feed in my lingerie with my cellulite and my curves and my rolls, or whether it means I want to learn burlesque this year and I'm not worried about what anybody else might think, or that I'm showing up in my own different way and, and that's all good with me. I'm also really embracing the fact that I love colour. I love wearing bright red. It's it To me, it makes me feel powerful. It gives me that extra boost of confidence. Whether it's red lingerie that nobody else will see, whether it's a red dress or some bright red lipstick. For me, that's my go-to. It's like wearing a piece of armour when I'm wearing red. So I wanted that to be part of the branding. And you will be able to see through the new podcast that I'm wearing one of my red favourite dresses and I'm smiling and I'm happy and I'm dancing. So that colour is going to be very much part of the new branding. There may be a bit of disco ball silver in there as well, along with some bright hot pinks, because why not? When you've got grey hair, pink is definitely a colour for you. So I'm celebrating all those things that I have grown into since I've turned it into midlife in my 40s and beyond. On Liberty, on the signing, you'll see an accent. And what I think is really beautiful is the fact that the girls, when I was talking to them about how I wanted the branding to be, they've really listened to everything that I've said. So you will notice that the accent is actually a feather. Now, to me, the feather is a really beautiful symbol that really shows flight and freedom. That flight, that feeling of flight that you can fly off and do something different and just to be your own person, fly like a bird and really spread your wings. And I always call myself a late bloomer because in my in my 20s and 30s, I lacked the confidence to really get started and know what I wanted to do and explore different things because I was scared of change. I was scared of failure um, and I was scared of other people's judgments. And now I feel like I can really fly in any direction I want. And I think that's something that in lots of these conversations I have with women, it's that feeling of just getting out there, taking that first step and flying because you do not know where it might take you to. 
flight and freedom. So I love the fact that my accent on liberty is a beautiful feather. So when you do see it, look out for it because that's what it means to me. So I will be continuing, as I said, no worry to panic, but at least you will know that um, when it shows up in your feed, it will be called Liberty Free to Be. It will still be on the, all the platforms that it has been. I'm so lucky that it's on Apple, Spotify, iTunes, um, you name it, On it's on 13 platforms now and um, the podcast so there is no excuses to download and subscribe and if you are enjoying this podcast please please share it with other people that might benefit it let's re- create a ripple effect that can really encourage women to step into their own and be free to be whoever they want to be in this next chapter so lots going on i will be back i'm having a little bit of a break although i will be working behind the scenes with a few more changes to come and a few more surprises but i just wanted to keep you in the loop so i will see you on tuesday the 2nd of may but in the meantime keep being fabulous and thank you so much for your support